every single time I have to <laughs> turn this light. I have to crank me up. Huh? Yeah, we should like draw the curtains open. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Just had our little vegan Thanksgiving. Fabulous. Uh, well, let's see. Now, this subject has come up a couple of times. I tried to get you to talk about this one time before. You didn't want to do it, so we're going to do it again because someone else has asked you about it now, so perhaps you'll be more open to the question. <laughs> okay. You know what's going to happen, what I'm going to say. Neil yeah, Sh I know. Neil Schoen. Neil what Schoen. is the story with Neil Schoen, the fabulous guitar player with, uh, what's the name of that band? Jeremy. He played with a couple Jeremy of bands. And, yeah, right. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. He's a great guitar player, all right? Yes. But when he was a kid, his daddy brought him to one of our shows when we were with Derek and the Dominoes during our American tour. And they tried his best to uh, talk Eric into letting him play in our band, you know? He or his he, dad? His dad. Okay. Uh, he, he didn't have a lot to say. Uh, but he sat in with us. Uh, and it was just, uh, it didn't fit. All right? He was a real talented uh, young guitar player. Uh, much like, Early teens. Much like the Derek Trucks video that you see when him as a child. I'm sure everybody was excited <coughs> yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, and everybody was excited about him. And his career happened anyway without us. But we didn't need a, a teenager in a band. I was only a few years out of being a teenager myself, so I, I knew what to expect. And his plan was entirely wrong for us, you know. It didn't seem like a good match. I mean, you had people like Dave Mason and and, and uh, people like uh, playing with you that would have been a better match, I think, personally. But yeah, but Dave's thing would have uh, pointed us in another direction, a more of a vocal uh, 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 band. You know, um, our harmonies, uh, um, Dave and Eric and uh, and me, uh, the timbers of our voices blended so well. Mm -hmm. um, we did Easy Now on uh, uh, the, our first show for Dr. Spock. It's the only one that Dave really did with us. And, uh, man, the voices were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Start out acoustic, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, that's a, a beautiful song anyway. Do you recall Eric being alone with Neil Schoen and, and talking, discussing about being no, in the band at all? Eric was, if, if Neil Schoen was anywhere, he was backstage and I saw him and stuff. Uh, we always kept tight. We, uh, well, you were Eric right. didn't have a, a dressing room, and so it, it wasn't like that. <laughs> we carried our own suitcases, and they only brought two guitars. What I was going to say, you was you were on the road at the time. You yeah, didn't, yeah, you weren't stopping, chatting, no, discussing band no, members. No, and... no, we didn't know who he was. He just dad, he showed up with his daddy, you know. And, uh, so basically, it was but, his... and twice. I, I, I can't remember the the, the venues, but they're both in California, out that direction. Mm. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he had a, a, a great career anyway, you know. Well, when you're talented like that, it's going to happen. But the ones that he got with, uh, uh, San, Journey Santana and uh, um, something, somebody else. Santana. Santana. They needed that kind of player, you mm -hmm. know. They, well, they he's could, had an they incredible career. Yeah, hell yeah. So, uh no, was, the best thing he the, he did uh, was not play with us, and that was the best thing for us to, was to do was not to have him or anybody else for that matter. We're a great four piece band. Right. We really didn't need uh, Dave Mason, and we really didn't need like Dwayne. horn players or Delaney or Dwayne or anybody. It was just a four piece band. Well, I mean, we've mentioned this before that Dwayne was tied up with his own band. Yeah, he was a, he was a brother. You know? Right. He was a brother. <laughs> he was a brother. I'm a brother. Yeah. yeah. He was the leader of the band. So when you talk about uh, you guys playing outside the box so that people will understand more of what you mean by that, when you're talking about the Almond Brothers playing, they they always play certain lines. Yeah, always... a lot of them. You of know, course. And but... uh, every every song when they play it. I've listened to the uh their their son's band now. Uh uh Dickie Bet's son uh, and one of the almonds kinfolk. Uh, uh 
they're playing those songs and they're playing them note for note for note for note. Well, that's what yeah, you would do. But that's that was how those songs went. That's what you, you know, would and do. And so they, but ours were never the same twice. <laughs> well, let me say that when you would see the Almond Brothers, you would expect to hear that. Otherwise, you would expect to hear every be, bit of that. You'd feel cheated out of. Yeah, the only song. thing you would expect to hear from Eric Clapton, and this days you might not get it, would be da 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 da, -da you know. Or da 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 da, you know, bell bottom blues. Those are the identifiable licks, you know. But as uh, far as the rest of it w would go, uh, when we were playing, uh, well, the Almond Brothers really came up with that whole twin guitar thing going on and all that. It was well, really, I think it was that's been genius. going on a long time. I don't know with uh, whom, but uh, it's not the first band to have two guitars. Uh, and, okay, so and getting, playing together. getting back to what I was saying is playing out of the box, playing in the box. Can you yeah. just sort of describe that a little bit more so that people understand what you're talking Out of the box is total free form. There is, it's, there is no fence at the end of left field, you know, and that's a good thing because that's where I live and stayed then and today, you know, it's totally out of the box. But uh, when they had to... They were within the parameters of the the, what the, you're the music them. that they had constructed, and the way they had it constructed is they had to play it like that every night for it to pull it off, you know. Right. Uh, like an orchestra has to play things. They're not out of the box. They're in the box. An orchestra has to play the same thing every night to make the song right. And if you get a, a guy up there with his... Uh, Symbol or you know a bell or, or or get one of the violin players decide he wants to break into a solo during the middle of some concerto that ain't gonna work. But see, we were, we were there was no box with us. All we did was count off, and it was different every time we did every song we did. We always did it different. Right. So you're that's out of the box, free form, uh, sophisticated rock and roll. You know. We wore really cool clothes, and, you know, very expensive boots and shirts and stuff. Looked really, went out of our way to look like rock stars that we were, you know. Um, not cowboy hats and jeans and, you know, not stuff that like anything, that. Not know? that there's anything wrong with not that. Not that there's anything I wrong think, with that. <laughs> okay, Jerry Seinfeld. I think that sometimes when you say things, people get really irritated because they don't understand why you're saying what you're saying. Like the out of the box, in the box. It can sound kind of demeaning, I think. So No, that's it's a, it's a simple you... way to, to, to explain it. It's, it's like black and white to me. I understand, but mm, I think a lot of other people may not get that. Everybody tends to get offended. There are a few, few that don't. But most majority of people get offended when I talk about Dwayne, period. Yes, you know, they do. Uh, and, and I, I can't help them there. You know, but you're not I was there. You're not talking poorly about no Dwayne. He was your friend. For he was my friend. <laughs> yeah, he called me little brother. No, I, I'm just talking factually and re the reality did, of the situation. Well, as when it you was. hear when you hear there's a couple of shows that he did with you guys. Yeah, and and you can hear that there's a bit of a struggle in there. Yeah. When did you guys notice it when you were on stage? Were you yeah. kind of looking at each other like, Oops, yeah. we need to get out of this"? Yeah. What songs were those? Do you remember? Oh uh, no, I don't remember. But I remember. Like, how about <laughs> "Tell the Truth"? It kind of goes shoots to a different. Well, it was what it was. It was something that was like uh, E A and B thing, you know, just a real standard thing. But when it comes to the five on it, the turnaround, it, it, it wasn't natural for him to flow in and out of it. Right, and I got you. I mean, for for us, it's just boom, dive in. We're in there. We're riding the ocean, the wave, you know. But then you got somebody that's coming in. They're real constricted, you know. And it was the same the second time he played with us, you know. And we talked about it, you know, that it wasn't the same uh, out of the studio. In the studio, everything is like you regimented. could work it all you know? out. Well, it's all worked out like the squares on this this. Uh, placement, you know. Delaney did the exact same thing, and with Dwayne, they worked everything out. Yeah, yeah he did absolutely. that to the end of his life. Absolutely, you know? that was the way uh, Dwayne worked. That's the way he was structured. Mm. You know, all the all the notes that you hear uh, 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 the the young fellows playing the, today is the exact notes that they were playing, even when they were apparently, evidently and seemingly stretching out. 
All they were doing was playing longer with the, right. the, no, the that's, same thing. I totally over and understand. Over. Do you think that the out of the box thing that you were doing, which I totally get and understand because I came from a, an area where I read music and gave that up because I didn't want to be caught in the box. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. it's a terrible There's no place door. to be. It's a bad place to be. So I wanted to be able to play freely. But do you think that more of your stuff was like that because of the cream days for Eric? Was no, leading that way? Be no, because I didn't know anything about cream. And to this day, still haven't listened to any and of And Jim records. and Carl. I mean, it they was were... the way we played, you know. And uh, I mean, we just came out of uh, some serious rock and roll with Delaney and Bonnie and friends. That was a serious section that we had, you know. And, uh, and everything was worked out. It was all worked out, but we were—we still worked it together. I mean, it oh, never yeah. played the same thing except the horns. You know, <laughs> their thing was the same. Right. Not mine. I mean, my my B three can't play it the same. There's no the way I play. It's an impossibility to come back and play that. And you've recorded me a bunch of times. It's an impossibility for me to come back and play the same thing the second time around as I did on the first time. It's an absolute impossibility, and that's the way we had a count off, and we knew <laughs> we knew uh, what 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 we were gonna how it was gonna start, and if it was tell the truth, and it went da 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 I knew I was in for twelve minutes of hell, you know, trying to bang da da, you know. Or if it started, I mean, that was like, I was in for like eight minutes of <laughs> wearing it out. When we couldn't did, hear things in, in those days. Well, like when now. did Eric start feeling comfortable with his own voice? Do you know? Was it with you guys? With, with, with us, yeah. He wasn't comfortable with Delaney, but with us, he, he was. Well, no one was comfortable with Delaney. <laughs> no, uh -uh. unfortunately. <laughs> I was all right because was I, I wasn't intimidated by him, and I and I looked past all that stuff. I was there for an education. Where did I get one? But uh, no, Eric got comfortable with his voice with us, and he had me back there, full out supporting him. I didn't miss a lick. You know, I kept my eyes glued to him, and uh, I, I saw every movement he made with his mouth. That's why. I, we worked so well together, you know, mm -hmm. and that that comes from my uh, '60s uh, uh, background in Memphis, Tennessee, you know, and uh, knowing how how you how you sing together, how you move together, you know. Well, I just read today a, a new article that had come out that said that uh, Layla was was the best work that Eric had ever done. Yeah, yeah, you know, I have to agree. Um, there are bits and pieces. There are songs along the way. That I just love, and I love his performance, and mm -hmm. you know, like "Grown in the Blues" is probably the best guitar solo ever. Uh, but it was the real thing, you know. And uh, uh, well, he hits it every now and then. He'd tell you the same thing. He hits I, it, every I, now I, now. it bothers me that people get upset with you about Dwayne Allman. It was his choice not to be in that band. Yeah. And uh, your we wanted him in there. Your contract specifically mentions just the four of you. There's yeah, no yeah. mention of. Of, yeah, uh, we wanted him in there, but he wouldn't do it. Not. He had <laughs> you know, we we love we loved his playing, and, and uh, it would have worked out, I'm sure. But of course, you know, he would had to have gotten out of that uh, uh, mentality. You I, know, I was going to say because you thing. you came from a way different mentalities. Yeah, and yeah. so it seems to me that it would be a, it, not quite a, a great match. The record was when you yeah. guys did the record. That was perfect. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was a great match, all of you. Well, well uh, uh, the the great match as far as the guitar players goes for uh, the dominoes was Eric by himself. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he well, was good, he was good one man alone. Let me just alone, say you know? that it would not it would never be the same without that the uh, the Dwayne being in there. It was, it would not be the same. You can't you yeah. unknow because it never happened that way. No, but I wouldn't want it to be the same. You know, I wouldn't want to go back and, and make things exactly like that because that's no. that's like no growth as far as I'm. No, concerned. that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you would never know what it would have been like without Dwayne and Dwayne's influence uh, because it wasn't that way. 
And no, it, well, the two times outside of the studio, we got a good taste of what I, was headed that way, you know. And so what it would have been, we just got a taste of it. It wouldn't have worked, no. Too many leaders, you know. You can't have too many no, 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 chefs not, in, in, the, in the kitchen. What I'm saying is what you did was great. Yeah. What you did. That was all that was needed. And that's it. That's it. Eric and I don't have to play together again. We did, we've already done what we needed to do. That was it, you know. Yeah, well, I kind of don't see that happening. So. No, hell no. I'm, <laughs> I'm busy doing other things, you know. But uh, so, no, do you know? Uh, do you know where the term "slow hand" came from, or is how yeah? Happen? Well, uh, uh, that uh, when we break was, used to. I mean, we didn't have roadies, <laughs> the, you know, the change of He'd change his string on on, on uh, uh, if he broke a string, he'd change it right in front of everybody, you yeah. know, and they're clapping for him real slow. <laughs> so that. It became slow hand. Now that's that's how I remember it. You know, it had nothing to do with his wrist and and his, the vibrato. It had nothing to do with that at all. It was like, come on. So did man. slow hand come along during your during no, the dominoes, or no, was it before no. that? Uh -uh. That was something. That was his early days. You that's know. What I thought. He was Derek during the Dominoes. That was the only thing that was any different about him, you know. He was Derek. So you guys would pretend to be Derek, each one of you, wouldn't you? Yeah, each yeah. One. I mean, funny enough, even in his own country, you know, we would go up north and those people, they didn't know who Eric was, you know. He wasn't as famous then as he is now, you know, not, not at all. Which one of you is Eric? You know. <laughs> You go, he is, you know, point to Jim or Carl, either one, you know. But I, 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 I remember everything about Derek and the Dominoes. Uh, every moment, I mean, because my, my downhill uh, thing didn't start till it was almost over, and then after it was over, you know, waiting around on Eric for a couple of years, didn't happen. But... Uh, all of that was exactly how it's supposed to have gone down, you know. That's how it's supposed to have happened. That was how it's supposed to have happened for him, for me, you know, for Carl, you know, and unfortunately Jim. But, uh, and Dwayne. Huh? And Dwayne. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, he died and Those things happen, later. you know. Uh, that's the way it is in life. You know? I'm, here I am now. I'm 72. I'm loving it and got a new start in life. We got a whole new thing going on and with Joe Carini and uh boy they're doing fantastic things with my art. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm, I'm having so much fun, I can hardly believe it. So no Neil Schoen, that was just not a that no, was not a... no, that was that, that I've been hearing about all Neil Schoen all these years. He did all right without us. You know, he didn't need us and we didn't need him. But just one of the many people who wanted to play with us, you know. Everybody wanted to be in that band. I, I don't blame them, you know. <laughs> it was a great band. On our worst night, our, our worst night, we were the best band on the planet. And no two ways about it. The very best band on this planet. 